to our tutorial on how to configure a Scuttle Rover with a camera using the app. My name is Hazal and I'm a developer advocate here. I'll be walking you through the process. Here we go. For this tutorial, you will need Raspberry Pi, VM server, and a Scuttle Rover with a camera and motors. The very first thing we will do is to install Raspbian and the VM server on the Raspberry Pi. If you need a step-by-step -step on how to do this, head to the installation portion of our documentation. Once you installed your Raspbian image and VM server onto your SD card, you're ready to configure your robot. To install the VM server, first you have to create a robot. Let's first head to app.vm.com. Log in to your account or if you are new, sign up for one. Then create an organization and a location for your robot. If you have them already created, feel free to skip this step. Organizations are a way to house and edit all the robots you and your team are working on. To create a new organization, click on Org Settings, click New Organization and fill in the details. You will notice the location will automatically load onto your dashboard. To create a new one, head to the navigation bar onto the left side type in a new location name and click add. Locations can be where your robots are physically or categories like production or testing. Fill in your robot's name. For this example, we are going to name it Scuttle and click add robot. Now add your first component. Name it local. Select the component type board. Select Pi from the model dropdown and click save config. The next step is to add a motor and make it spin, naming the component right. Select motor from the type dropdown. Select GPIO from the model dropdown. Select local from the depends on dropdown. Set 8 to 15. Set B to 16. Set max RPM to 100. Save the config by clicking save config at the bottom of the page then click control at the top of the page to navigate to the control tab. Start with the power level, the RPM, set to 10% and increase it incrementally until it's at a good enough speed. Just note each time you change the speed, you have to run it again. Now head to the left motor. Once again, you will need to create a new component. Begin by adding the left side wheel, naming the component left. Select motor from the type dropdown. Select GPIO from the model dropdown. And click create component. First, select the board name from the depends on, which in our case is local. Set A to 12, set B to 11, set max RPM to 100. Test if your left wheel works. Follow the same power rules, increasing the RPM incrementally till you're happy with it. You will need something to unite the right and left wheels. That's where the base comes in. Enter base in name. Enter wheeled in model. Enter left and left, enter right and right. Enter 400 in width millimeters measured between the midpoints of the wheels. Enter 250 in wheel circumference from depends on select three items, left, right, and local. Save this config and switch to your control tab to see new control buttons for the base. Toggle where it says keyboard disabled to enable it. W and S will go back and forth, whereas A and D will arc and spin. Lastly, let's add the camera to your Scuttle robot. Click new component and then enter camera and name, enter camera and model. From depends on, select local, click create component. Down, set video pad to the first choice. In this case, we will use video zero. Finally, save the config, head to the control tab and see your camera stream come to life.
Congratulations! You finished setting up your Scuttle robot with a camera using VM server. Stay tuned for our next tutorial on how you can level up your newly configured robot.